as you've uh, most likely noticed, I am currently working most of the time on EtherSweep, a small open source project uh, of mine to control Ethernet connect to build an Ethernet connected stepper motor driver that fits on a back on the back of the NEMA 17 motors, and where you can send uh, com commands via Ethernet network to uh, to control these motors. And I think one very cool thing about these Ether Sweep controllers is they are very small. So you can put them in very tiny spaces, put them in machines, in robotics, in theoretically in a drone, whatever, and control them via the normal uh, Ethernet network everybody knows how to use and how to write software for. Because it's so small, it's very cool to um, have a very, very small Ethernet switch because my current Ethernet net switch looks like this so this is a wi-fi router for i got it for free because somewhere in university they had it uh, left over whatever um yeah it's very cool because you have uh, four or five ports you can connect stuff to um, i have a 16 port switch so i can uh, run up to 15 ethersweep controllers on the switch which is very cool but the switch is this size it's on my desk so i can show it to you can't show it to you um yeah but these switches are very cheap uh have wi-fi both downside is this is ether sweep and this is a switch. So it's in a bad relation if you have this on a robot and you run, uh, have to carry this switch around. So I asked my friends at uh, Switchblocks to send me one of their industrial uh, small ethernet switches. Looks like this, the box. So I asked them to send me one of them and they did. Thank you very much. And what's in the box is basically just this super tiny ethernet switch. And the coolest thing about this it's pretty much exactly the same size as EtherSweep. And what you also get is a power cable you can connect. So just plug it into power. I think it's a super broad range. So it's, um, give me a second. It's five to 60 volts. EtherSweep supports five to 30 volts. So this is definitely on the safe side. You can pl uh, connect it directly to the input power of the EtherSweep connector, of the EtherSweep controllers. You don't have to care about any voltage conversion or something. So this is very cool. And then you get a lot of these tiny pigtail cables. Looks like this, RJ45, RJ45 in the end. So you can connect it to your normal devices like EtherSweep. And you can con also connect it to any other device that supports 100 Mbit Ethernet. So basically every device that has an RJ45 connector. And then hopefully you can see it it because it's very tiny. Then you connect these to the switch blocks, just like this, just like this. Um, now you have EtherSweep and the switch blocks connected. And then if you need another port, for example, for the switch you're connecting to, or another EtherSweep controller, you just connect another one. So you have five ports available. And there you go. So this is basically the smallest, fastest and easiest way to connect many EtherSweep controllers on your small robotics project. And I think very, very cool product. And you even have power out, which is very cool because uh, you can even power your Raspberry Pi from this power supply. I think, I'm not sure, I didn't have the connector, but I think that should be definitely possible. Then connect your Raspberry Pi to this uh, via Ethernet as well. And then connect all your motors, cameras, uh, yeah, Raspberry Pi, as I said, even a camera, Wi-Fi router, whatever you like. The only thing that would be very, very super hyper cool would be a super small Wi-Fi router you can connect directly on this port that has the same form factor. That would be super sick. Um, yeah, but they have lots of other products, uh, like very industrial uh, capable stuff for military applications, uh, drones, whatever. It's They have, I read about them uh, on a Hacker Day article a few years ago and I already loved them back then but they have yeah grown their um portfolio quite a lot and yeah it's it's very very cool what they have yeah next i will show it uh, to you in action i think Yeah, and the uh, process is pretty much uh, forward. You just connect all the Ethernet or the RJ, RJ45 connectors, the pigtails, and connect all the devices like you would on a normal, normal Ethernet switch. And in this case, I connected one Ether sweep controller and the other side of the switch to my uh, desk switch. 
and the desk switch is connected to a router that has a Wi-Fi router connected and where I connect my iPhone to so I can um, control the EtherStream controller from my iPhone through the Wi-Fi network, through the LAN network, through the switch, to, through the bot blocks, uh, yeah, to the EtherStream controller. So pretty much as you would expect, but uh, all connected to the same power supply, uh, the 12 volt power supply in the back. And yeah, works as you would expect. And I also did a Raspberry Pi test um, with uh, to download a large file. And I got, I think 90 Mbits out of um, the 100, but I was connected via Wi-Fi with my laptop to the network. So this is something you can expect, but I think uh, there is no reason why uh, it shouldn't reach the 100 Mbit. So it's a pretty much it's a normal Ethernet switch, but uh, yeah, all the features on a very, very, very small form factor. And I think it's even managed. I haven't tested that, but uh, you can do some settings with uh, the switch blocks or the bot blocks uh, software, configuration software, but I haven't tested that. So overall, I think this is a very capable device for robotics projects, tiny machines, um, wherever you need um, Ethernet network. And there is even a switch box with two wire ethernet and even a one gigabit version. And I think they are even working on a 10 gigabit version. So there is most likely a tiny ethernet switch for your application available. And I think the twisted pair version is pretty cool because you only have two wires and have a range of two kilometers with 10 Mbits. So I think this is pretty cool for some applications. So I think they make very cool products and check them out. And I hope this is helpful to some of you. Thank you, bye.